Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Ike and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty and it's month number 7. For those of you who have been following the series for quite a while, you would know we're currently fighting for the dominance in North and South America and it's absolutely no different in this mission. Operation Steel Step is going to be done with a pair of six soldiers. We got our Prime Spark. We got a Grenadier, a Sharpshooter, a Shinobi, a Ranger, and a Specialist. So well-rounded team, albeit many kind of rookie-ish um, uh, soldiers uh, there. But we're only fighting against seven to nine enemies. The only thing we need to do is destroying the alien relay. So let's jump right into it. Good, and here we go. We just landed. Looks like a pretty much dead end. And a long way to go to the alien relay. I bet you there is either a train or uh, sewers in between. That's normally the connection, um, the connection tile between those end rooms. Moving up. So far we haven't been spotted out, but that might change quite soon. Moving our sniper up. Moving puppy up. Uh, Bishop or mech could be moved up, I suppose. Since Bishop can't take any cover, it's a bit dangerous because when the drone like flies in, it will see him. So let's just move here and try to hope that the vision range deters it from seeing Bishop. Two drones. Well, that's good because drones pick, uh, take up slots of enemies and they are not really strong. Matter of fact, I would rather consider them to be relatively weak. Keeping concealment on our shinobi. Taking down one of the drones. And we somewhat lost track of the second one. Not sure why that is the case, because we've spotted it out earlier. But it's certainly unfortunate. There we go. It almost spotted us out. Moving up and moving up. So far, pretty easy. We're setting our weapon and overwatching. Two down, a maximum of seven more to go. Moving in. And let's see if there is someone inside of the train. The answer seems to be no. Let's position our sniper and puppy in the best potential slots. Overwatch. Overwatch. And that's about it. Got ourselves potentially an enemy pack here. Oh, look at that. What was that? 26 hit points? Almost looked like a commando. Ooh. 
that's an Andromedon and two sectoids. So that's three plus the two that we killed, five, plus at least two that we've seen, seven. There is room for one more pack. Hmm, how are we going to take a shot? No, I'm not terribly afraid of the sectors, to be honest. But the Andromedon is definitely more of a problem. Yeah, let's start with the Andromedon. It's not going to be great damage. I mean, it's 3 to 6. Potential crit, yes. But the armor definitely reduces quite a bit of the damage. On the other end, the Sector it would almost die. Now let's start with the Sector. It. Pretty good shot. They didn't know what was happening, so we can move up, fortify our position. What's over there? Rapid deploy a smoke grenade. I mean, we could shred him, but I think it would be better if we wait one more turn with it. Oh, I do have an idea, though. And it's not a bad one. Standing in smoke. Overdriving. Let's get rid of the cover and shred him. That did not remove the cover. Okay. Well, we can always flashbang at the end of the round. Let's get rid of the sector. Continuing to hit the Andromedon. This is against potential grenade damage, but his grenade is acid damage, so anyone, everyone is anyways immune other than the mech. So for the mech, it is really a help. Handing over an extra action to Puppy here. Solid damage. 
Bishop gets the 8 protocol. We're overwatching and we're finishing with the flashbang. That should make it almost impossible for them to hit anything. Time to repair ourselves. That should get rid of the acid burn. Are you sure this weapon was properly assembled? We don't want to move any further because uh, that would trigger the pack back there. And we're okay with not doing that for now. Take a look at that jacket before you get too close. All right, all right. Moving a little bit closer. This here should remove some of the cover, hopefully. Can't see him. Which, if you think about it, is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't want to leave this area. It's just too good. We're instead flashing again. Moving to position. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Ready to rock. Reload, steady weapon. And just to mess with him, we're going to close the door. That way it will need to move a bit closer to even do something. Surprise! I think I'll, I'll just open and close the door continuously. Fifty fifty to hit him. We're green to go. I think I got a piece. Uh, we don't need to reload yet, and I want to continue standing Impossible. in the smoke. It's only a 20% chance, but before we should, before we're wasting our turns, might as well take the shots. Nice hit. Hmm. I'll save the grenade. And we're closing the door again.
All right, that was unexpected, very aggressive maneuver. But these maneuvers come at a price. Moving in. Shotgun to the face. There we go. Moving up to get the extra loot. Moving further in. By the way, perfect timing for a Sky Ranger, I would say. Moving up, and let's start hitting the target. By the way, we're soon going to see reinforcements. I think we're fine, though. The last pack will most likely start coming our way soonish. Not really sure why they are waiting down there, but. Honestly, I don't care. Advent Vanguard. Hmm. Haven't seen those yet. Shock Troopers are certainly really nasty. A lot of dodge and a lot of hit points. Good, if we position ourselves, let's say just up here, that'll be high ground, really great position, and we can take shots. Perfect, I love it. Is it clear? Moving up, taking shots. Although we can't see it here, I still would like to take the high ground, and our sniper takes a shot as well. Definitely got to upgrade their weapons. The laser weapons at this point are starting to fall off quite a bit. How? What? Uh, okay, all of a sudden a couple of things exploded, including the alien relay. All of our soldiers are fine. That was strange. Good, we got one overwatch, a second overwatch, third overwatch, we're reloading and pistol overwatching. Got it 
we'll move out of line of sight because I don't want to be accidentally spotted out and then triggering the other pack. Well, we got a few shots, but unfortunately, not all of them hit. <laughs> okay. Shit, every everything is somewhat falling apart. All right, fortify. Starting to hit the uh, mech here, uh, the, the Andromedon. This guy down here, the shock trooper, we definitely need to deal with him. So if we were to launch a plasma grenade can't hit both of them can't hit both of them either Apparently it seems to be impossible to hit... Oh well, it's not impossible. So we can hit both of them. Which means all we need to do is go into solid cover so we're not flanked. And hit both of them. That'll get rid of the Andromedon, making it only a shell. Only one target for our sniper, which is the shell. Could have had better targets, but so be it. Ignoring those two for now. Moving a little bit back. By the way, what's our chance with the shell? Not good enough. Might as well contribute to kill it. So we could strike him, even from here. But we first of all need to get rid of the shell and probably also of him, to be honest.
So this here should give us the option to hit both of them. It does not, but that's fine. We can still simply kill the Vanguard. Come on. We could kill the mech, but that would leave him completely unchecked. Yeah, I think we need to do this. It's not the nicest turn, but uh, the nicest move. We're definitely going to take damage because we haven't uh, been taken care of all of them. Haven't been taken care of all of them. Advanced expanded magazine is good. What am I doing with this? Luckily, we had uh, predicted that and used incoming. It's going to be a mind control, and I think we had had a mind shield, so we should be immune. And that will be extra hit points. Maybe a flash wound. Ready to go. Reloading. And if we were to walk fire, that's going to kill him. Or grazing shot. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? Hello there. That was some nice damage. Let us either kill him or the blade storm next turn will uh, will do it. Good. That takes completely care of the three main threats. Moving into full cover. There's a chance that we can kill him. Hello, one, but still, 30% shots. Moving into a better position. High ground, and let's try this again. Unfortunately, sustenance prevents his death. And there is stasis. Next turn we can evac. I'm not necessarily keen in, on staying any longer. turn and then we're gonna go. Let's see if we can kill them. Not even close. 
That's unfortunately a miss. Moving closer so that we can take a shot but also can reach the exit zone next turn. Clearly didn't work out. You know, reinforcements are not immediately coming in, so might as well just charge in, kill this guy, and move out next turn, or the turn after the next turn. Okay, that is it. Moving into the direction of the exit. I think a bit more difficult than I would have originally anticipated, but still, overall, a clean mission. I mean, we killed all of them. Plus only took really limited damage. Anticipated their grenades quite well, so that went uh, that worked out pretty well. Yeah, the once wounded soldier was the mech, if I'm not mistaken. And look at that, we even got a promotion for Pappy. He got walk fire and lockdown for high aim and good shots. Um, increase in his center mass so, uh, for his weapon fortify. I think we're going with emplaceable again. I like also the bring it, uh, bring him on uh, crit damage escalation, but I'm valuing mobility higher than the crit damage because it gives you more flexibility to actually flank in between. And we're saving for trade craft, definitely. The next, uh, the next rank will be huge for him. Less infiltration time and rapid fire. And a lot of loot. Around 120, 130 uh, supplies worth of loot. Look at that, some extra supplies. I'm not going to say no to that. We know where the chosen stronghold is located, but it's too heavily fortified for us to just march right in there. Yeah, we we will be marching into it relatively soon. Don't worry. Got a new mission. Six days. Ooh, that counters the dark event, and we are um, getting some intel. Attack advent, counter insurance ops. That is perfect. It's one of the missions where I really don't want uh, to miss it. So let's field a strong team, or a moderately strong team at least. Good, I got a team together. Didn't really hit 100%, but I also it would took I uh, would have taken me too much uh, sacrifice on the equipment part just to get rid of like three enemies. So overall, I think we're better off doing that. And the only thing we need to do is, anyways, recover an item from Advent. So that's fine. More enemies sometimes also means more experience. I am okay with that team.
Certainly gotta upgrade some of the weapons soon. Good, let's continue with our supply cache. Um, once uh, the Covert Ops mission is done, we can spend a lot of the supplies because we're infiltrating, infiltrating him, the Warlock. And that will be the next big milestone for us. Recruiting wise, we haven't really recruited anyone. So let's just continue. And there is yet another mission. Smash and grab. Which with uh, seven days should be a very easy mission. God, I, I think I haven't seen those many missions in a while. We really are crushing it. All right, I got a pretty um, even uh, team there. We got Bishop. Uh, still a little bit kind of uh, under the weather, but we can heal ourselves at the beginning of the mission without any problems. Got an assault, uh, got uh, our uh, next specialist, got ragtime here, the null palm and um, flamethrower focused technician, big daddy who's going to be our sniper and got cover removal uh, with a gunner here. Overall, it seems to be a good team. And yep, I would feel confident going in. We have two DPS, two times cover removal, frontliner and support. Let's go. Probably very similar to the other teams. Got to make sure that we upgrade the weapons. But we should be fine. All right, let's finish the supplies. Avenger plotting new course. We got so many missions running that uh, the game decided to start a second tab, just to keep track of all of them. Okay, we're continuing with gaining some more intel. Almost ready to make contact to another region, which definitely is going to be uh, Australia. And it seems some mission is 100% infiltrated. Yep, over here. That's going to be Operation Starving Key, another intel mission. Oh, and it's the start of the liberation. Gotcha. Good. That's the mission uh, that we're going for next. Let's take a very brief look into our armory. What worked well is I've made sure that the newcomers Specifically, the squaddies and so on are regularly going onto missions, so they are all infiltrating. We have moderate amount of wounded um, soldiers. We still got a few who are not on a mission, so theoretically we got room for one, potentially two more missions. And we got to, or I got to clean uh, this mess up um, on top here. So specifically, the top team. Once we've done, once we're done with the infiltration of the network tower, needs to be absolutely ready. So no new missions for them, uh, because in a week from now, yeah, pretty much in five days from now, we are going to go into the fire, which is uh, the warlock mission. So, matter of fact, maybe. It's not the worst idea to even start uh, the uh, to even s uh, start the network tower infiltration mission because realistically speaking that would free up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty n
four, five. He's probably not going to join the mission of the Warlock, but it's, it's going to be freed up. And the other team is obviously infiltrating the next three days and we can hopefully get through the mission without any injuries which means in five days everyone is more or less ready so we can essentially take the prime team and put them onto the warlock mission yeah that makes sense anyways thank you for watching um, we are continuing the series in our next episode until then stay tuned don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below and see you in the next run bye bye